we are discussing now the c program which is going to perform the deletion from existing list of elements that means there will be certain array will be given to us and out of that we are going to perform the deletion so let us suppose that uh, we are having a comment so first line we are assuming it is the comment because the two bars are given slashes are now afterward we are having the hash include stdio.h stdio is for standard proprietary file for printf and scanf functions now void void means no return type main is a driving function we are coming inside now int there are certain variables we are going to declare but the most important is the a10 so that means we are having the array which is having the 10 elements that means it can store the element elements the 10 elements are not right now there so 10 spaces we are reserving so this is the array now we know that the array is starting with the index 0 so it is 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 that means 10 elements can be stored here and they are the index starting from 0 to 9 now this is the size which we have reserved in the memory but it is not like we have given all the elements okay now printf enter number of elements in array less than 10 so on the user screen there is a message that you can store number of elements which is less than 10 or equal to 10 now how much you want to store so here we are saying scanf percentage d for the integer value and n means that the address of n we are saying the number of elements that user want so let us suppose that this is the n and the user is saying i want to enter only five elements so now this five is stored okay into the n afterward printf means printing on the user screen slash n for the new line enter elements of array slash and foot again new line so the user screen there is a message that please enter the elements now for i is equal to 0 so i is starting from 0 means there is the i we are assuming for running the loop i start from 0 and then we are giving the condition i less than n so i will go till less than 5 so here we are going to run the loop first of all we are having this one i equal to 0 and i less than n so it is checking whether i means 0 is less than 5 obviously it is true 0 is less than 5 so it will come down and going to the scanf line scanf means taking the input percentage d for the integer value and means at the address of a i we know that the i is 0 and a is the name of array so a0 a0 means we are talking about the first block so in this block we are going to take the input let us suppose that user has given certain input we are assuming the input is 6 so user has entered the element which is 6 now afterward it will go back i plus plus so i is incremented i is 1 checking the condition i less than 5 1 less than 5 which is true coming down again taking the value of ai so user has entered one more value let us suppose 5 again going back i plus plus the value of i is now 2 again going and checking the condition i less than n so 2 less than 5 condition true again going down taking the input of ai so one more value is taken so that is 7 similarly it will go back and keep on continuing so one more time it will be 3 and the condition check so it is less than 5 true so next value will be taken so going down and the new value let us suppose we are having is 8 again going back 
then i plus plus so the value of i is now 4 checking the condition i less than n 4 less than 5 that is true again going down and ai so the value of ai is taken a4 so the value now we have assuming is 4 is entered now this time it will go back i plus plus so i plus plus it is 5 checking the condition 5 less than 5 false so it will come down now the purpose of this first for loop is to take the five numbers from the user and successfully we have taken the five numbers which are 6 5 7 8 and 4 so these five numbers we have taken from the user hand put into the array so this part is done now afterward the second part we are going printf means on the user screen we are putting a message slash n for the new line enter position of element to be deleted guys that is important it is asking the position not the index we know that index and position both are different because position is one plus the index value so here it is saying position now scan f percentage d for the integer value and p so in the p we are taking the position so let us suppose that user is saying we want to delete the second position assuming or the third position any position you can take i am assuming the third position so third position means this is the first position this is second position third position fourth position and fifth position so these are the positions and user want to delete the third position element means user want to delete the element number seven so at the position three whatever the element is there that we are going to take so that is done by the user but we know that the position is three but the index value correspondingly is two and the array work on the index value that's why we are saying p minus minus so in our program the user is not aware about it in our program what we are doing we are decrementing it by two and now this position is becoming the index so three was the position but this two which is one minus is now becoming the index so on this index we can delete the element because you know that the c programming work on the array starting from the zero now afterward we are having one more for loop which is going to delete the element the funda is that we are going to delete the element number 7 or which is at the position 2 and shifting the other elements at that place so what we are doing here we are starting with that for loop for i is equal to p so we are putting i at the position now the new value of i we are taking the new value of i this time so this i is now becoming the p and the p is 2 so i will start from 2 i less than n minus 1 because you know that the number of elements currently are 5 and later on it will become less than 4 so that's why we are mentioning n minus 1 so n minus 1 is what 5 minus 1 5 minus 1 is what 4 so 2 less than 4 the condition is true it will come down it is saying ai is equal to ai plus 1 so ai the index value is 2 is equal to ai plus 1 that means index value is 3 so this 3 is going into this position that means element number 8 is going to change this one so 8 is updated here it will go back i plus plus so the value of i is incremented now the value of i is 3 checking the condition i less than n minus 1 so 3 less than 4 condition is true it will come down ai is equal to ai plus 1 
So right now we are on A3. So the value of A4 will be coming to A3. So that means this four is now changed here. And now this four is coming. Again afterward go back I++. plus plus. So the value of I is 4. Checking the condition. 4 less than 4. False. 4 is not less than 4. It is equal to 4. False. So it will come out to the next line. That means after shifting the elements our task is over. Now whatever the last is remaining we are not going to consider that. This is our strategy. So we are saying printf slash n for the new line altered array. So array after all the alteration. We are saying again for i equal to 0. So again I will start with the 0. So we are considering i here afterward. So the value of i is again changed. So this 4 is now becoming starting from 0. So i is 0. i less than n minus 1. Now we will keep on going with the n minus 1. The reason is that because the elements are now reduced to 4. That's why we are representing less than n minus 1. So 5 minus 1 is 4. So 0 less than 4. True. Coming down. Printf means printing on the screen slash n for the new line percentage d that is representing the integer value ai so whatever is there into the ai we are going to display it and we know that into the ai the element which is 6 so on the user screen we are representing the element 6 let us suppose this is the user screen so 6 is displayed afterward going back i plus plus so i is now 1 again checking the condition i less than n minus 1 0 less than 4 true so it is going down and printing the next element ai so ai is printed that means a1 so 5 is printed so this is 5 6 5 is printed again going back then i plus plus so the value of i is now becoming 2. Checking the condition. 2 less than 4. True. 2 is less than 4. Again coming down. Again printing the next element. So a i. A2 is printed. Now this time we know that the updated value which is 8. So 8 will be printed. Here. Again going back. i plus plus. So the value is now 3. Checking the condition. Less than 4. 3 less than 4. True. So it will come down. It will print the AI. So AI. A3 will be printed. Which is 4. So 4 will be printed. Now 4 elements are already printed. Now see the strategy what we are playing. Now we are saying I++. plus plus. Here it is 4. Checking the condition. 4 less than 4. We are not going to the next element. We are stopping it here. So here your array is going to stop. So condition false. It will come out. And nothing to do afterward. So this is the stop condition. That means we are only representing the array with the modified values. So this part of the array only we are representing means we are going to display to the user whatever is less left over that we are not going to display. So that means if the 4 is remaining into some other memory, let us suppose A4. So that is not our concern. We are only going to do the job. We have deleted the successfully one element and then we are showing only part which is there so from index value 0 to 3 we are showing the elements 6 5 8 and 4 so with this logic we are going to delete one element which is asked from the user at the specific position if we are going to run this program on the compiler then afterward what will be the output so this is the output which is mentioned so enter number of elements in array so that is the message on the user screen user has entered 5 
so the message on user screen enter elements of array now user has entered 6 5 7 8 and 4 afterward they are asking for the enter position of element to be deleted so we have mentioned third position and it will be displaying altered array that means the third position which is 7 is deleted successfully and afterward they are saying 6 5 8 and 4 so after deletion the remaining elements are displayed so that is the program for deleting the element from the specific location from the array